like this against one of the more dynamic offenses in the league. Um, yeah, and I, f I feel like we've been consistent for most of the year. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, uh, Drew and D. White kind of lead, lead the way for us, and <clears throat> uh, Jalen continues to take challenge after challenge. Um, and I think it's the team, you know, we're just making a commitment on that end. So. I feel like that's why we're, we're, we're better this year. You and uh, Chris Stapps, the chemistry on that end, you guys have developed. How far is that common? You know, how dynamic does it feel when you and him are out there on the court together defensively? Uh, I know it's great. Um, anytime that I'm, I'm with him on the floor, I, you know, I feel like protected I'm, I would in the back line just because, uh, you know, he's able to, to help me out. If I'm being aggressive or somebody's getting by me, he's kind of there to protect me, and and uh, and I'm kind of there for, for him if he needs me as well. As well. So um, that's continues to to get better. Joe talked about how committed you guys were finding Kristaps down low against their switches. Um, what has been the trick for you guys kind of developing that part this year? Obviously, it's something that's kind of new for your offense. Yeah, I think it's uh, understanding what we have um, and uh, and really making sure that we make the most of it. Um, you know, there's a lot of options in the offense, but at times, you know, the best offense is to make sure that we get him the ball, um, let him be aggressive and create. He's going to make the right play. Um, so, um, you know, I feel like tonight he was very assertive, um, get, getting to his spots quickly, and if when he didn't like it, he was passing it out. But I think that we all understand um, that winning's going to look different, and you've heard, heard us say this all year, um, different nights, and uh, there are nights that you know we need him to, you know, to take care of that in the post. You guys obviously locked up the best record in the NBA. Joe was just saying you entered this game kind of treating it as a clincher. And you talked about that. What did that kind of look like? For yeah, you? I mean, uh, it was just uh, uh, you know we didn't want to extend anything. Like we wanted to come out and 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 really lock yeah. in and and um, and handle our business. Uh, and, and the mindset, uh, initially, I don't think it was great. Um, uh, as the game went on, it got a little better. They made a run in the third, and then really, end of the third, fourth, we kind of were able to impose our will. So um, just happy that we were able to get it done. Now, you know this is a big in space before, but like, what does it do when you got a guy like Chris Stapps who's hidden from outside and in those threes? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, you know, it puts the defense in a very tough situation. Um, uh, that's the versatility uh, of our group, of the things, th of the things that Kristaps brings and what he can do, and um, and teams have to make decisions um, because uh, you know at at time, especially with our starting group, everybody can shoot um, and put it on the floor and create. So that's just the way that, that we play. How that third quarter run you mentioned. It? You know, it seemed like they came out strong. You guys kind of stabilized, and then then you hit them with your, with your big punch. What go, what goes into kind of like that process of all right, stop them, start answering, and then throw your haymaker. Yeah, well, I think it was key. Uh, Peyton coming in, in in the third quarter, um, he came in, um, and I feel like just kind of changed the momentum of the game with his energy, and um, and, and that was the start of it. Uh, we, we went out there, we made some runs, we got some stops. He got after the ball with his ball pressure. And then to start the fourth, I thought it was key, you know, for us to come out and, and, uh, and not play games and, like, really take it to another level. We made him call the timeout. And then at that point, it was like, we've got to take it to another level. So for those next three, four minutes, we were able to win those minutes. And I think that that's obviously that separated us. But I, uh, it was the mindset. It was the mindset. Everybody at the start of the fourth, we were all locked in and really trying to put the team away. Out real quick. Jalen has said it was a goal of his to make the all defense team this season. And just how much growth have you seen from him on that end? And, and what is him taking on those challenges do for the rest of the group? Uh, well, it's, it inspires the rest of us um, because uh, he does a lot on the offensive end. And then he wants the responsibility on the defensive end. And a lot of people say they may want those challenges, but he's facing all types of different players. He's guarding Steph Curry, he's guarding Zion, you know, just different guys uh, that he has to match up against. And, um, you know, just being very unbiased, very clear, like you can, he's first team all defense. Like, you know, like there's just no, 
you know, you, you look at what he's doing individually and the impact that he has on the defensive end. Um, it's, you know, we're one of the best defenses in the league, have the best record. Um, he, he deserves to be in that position. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.